Thank you for your interest in a career with SafeLight. The technician role is our lifeblood. It's where we get the biggest opportunity to fulfill our purpose, which is to bring unexpected happiness into the lives of our customers by providing service so great, it's memorable. It's where all the magic happens, and quite frankly, it's where a lot of the work happens as well. By taking the time to watch this video, we hope you'll gain a true understanding of the realities of the job, both good and bad. We hope you'll see our tech's commitment to our quality work. We hope you'll better understand the challenges that come with the job, like working in the heat of the summer and the dead of the winter. And through it all, we hope you'll clearly see our Safe Light spirit, a service mindset, a can-do attitude, and a caring heart. These three characteristics are must-haves for a successful career with our organization and are at the core of what we do every day. We hope you're excited about this career opportunity. Now please, watch and learn more about us. Technicians are the front line of our industry. They're the face, you know. They're what everybody sees. You know, you have to put yourself out there to the customer and let them know that you're gonna make them happy, you're gonna fix it. If we give a customer a bad experience, SafeLight has a bad name. Make sure you're doing quality work and make sure you're hitting the nail on the head with that. Something that doesn't go right, it's just a complication. It's a bump in the road and you have to overcome. Like, fresh new technician, it was very scary. My first car was a Hyundai Elantra. It was a very cold day. It was like, with the wind chill, 20 degrees. Um, it took me about three and a half hours to get the car done. I mean, it, it takes a little bit to get used to, definitely. After about a year, I felt more, most comfortable. Completely comfortable, honestly, it was about within the six month to a year period. Not everything is textbook. You know, sometimes you have to make little adaptations in order to, you know, successfully complete what you're doing. I've been doing this for three years and I'll st there's still vehicles out there that I've never worked on, so. They're adding so much, you know, electronics on the, on the glass nowadays. I mean, the windows that have you know, rain sensitive technology. You got, you got um, lane departure, you have humidity sensors, you have uh, camera alerts. Everybody has those days where just nothing goes right. I started at eight o'clock and I didn't finish the car till 12, one o'clock. Couldn't get the glass out. When you pull up to a job and you know, the, the customer has an appointment, if they're not there, you know, it, you want to pull your hair out of To be a good tech, is you just got to remain level-headed. Having the wrong piece of glass is frustrating. Not only frustrating for you, it's frustrating for the customer. You, you need to be able to, you know, overcome frustration. The challenge, you know, accept the challenge and defeat it. You know, if a job comes in at four o'clock, I'm not going home at five. A technician's hours are from the time you leave the store to the time you get home. Problems will arise, but you got to make sure that you're, you're cool, calm, and collected. I was trimming the, the adhesive and a tool slipped and I scratched her car. I broke this lady's wiper and I, I mean, I was just like, oh my goodness. It's... Just be honest with the customer. You know, I mean, you're gonna have to own up to these things and... You could do 10 of the exact same cars and every one of them will be different. I think we're all uncomfortable in rain. It, make, <laughs> it makes it a pretty hard job. And it's not always gonna be a perfect day. You're gonna get out there, it's gonna be 105 degrees. You're gonna touch a, a car that's black. I got a couple of birds. <laughs> it's just that wave of heat that comes out. The weather just does play a big, big role in a lot of a lot of how technicians work. Cold days, you know, you're gonna find that the the urethane that we use is a little uh, a little harder to get through. At the beginning of the year, I spent three weeks in Syracuse and it snowed every day. If I know the weather's bad, I'll call customers. If I can get them down, I'll get them down. If I have to go pick up a car, I'll go pick up a car and drop it back off when I'm done installing. I'll do anything to get it done. And no, I don't think everybody can do this job. And absolutely not. You can train him. He can be great in shop, in a, in a controlled environment. You put him outside and he just falls apart. You need to be able to adapt to weather situations. It can be strenuous, you know. If you're not a, that much of a physical guy, I would advise you get in the gym and do some curls. <laughs> and you are physically tired at the end of the day. The quality has to be there. You have to make sure that everything you do is on point, because once again, we're doing safety equipment. Structural integrity, that windshield is actually a part of the roof line. If it's not installed properly, the roof will just collapse. That glue doesn't adhere or bond right, 
you know, a head-on collision, you're going right through the glass. The passenger airbag hits the windshield and then comes at the uh, passenger. So if it's not installed properly, that windshield's coming out and that airbag is not working. I don't know how I'd live with myself if I did a windshield and a family got into an accident and somebody got hurt. You're going to run into the customers that are difficult. You're held accountable for your actions. I washed it completely. I vacuumed her front and back floorboards, her trunk. I definitely got a lot of thank yous and I got a great promoter out of her. Got to be like the commercials. You got to give them what they see in the commercials. You got to be that friendly technician who's technically proficient. We juggle quality and customers and, you know, weather all at the same time. It's not always going to be a walk in the park for sure. And family and work and, you know, traffic. You need to be someone who enjoyed the outdoors. A can-do attitude, the service mindset. A positive attitude. Have drive to accomplish not necessarily the easiest task. It's quality. People skills, communication skills, you know, don't have a problem talking to people because you can fix it. And you're willing to do whatever it takes to do that. I make sure my smile is huge, <laughs> my shirt is clean, my van is clean. You know, when I work, I want that customer to say, man, Arrow from Safe Flight is awesome. Treat somebody how you want to be treated. Fix somebody's issue, you're making them happy, and you gotta, you gotta accept that challenge. It's about getting it done right. We're out here to really help these people and make sure that you know they're taken care of properly. I get a lot of gratification making people's days. We hope you now have a realistic understanding of what it takes to be a successful Safe Light Auto Glass technician. And we hope you are better equipped to make the right decision about your future. Remember, when you join Safe Light, you not only gain a career, you also gain a family. And we're all here to support you on your Safe Light journey. Thanks again, and let us know if we can answer any questions.